I like talking about sharks. Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Voices from the Mausoleum. <laughs> My setup it gets crazier and crazier as the days go on. The good news is we're almost done with the craziness. So in today's video, I'm going to do some, uh, I'm going to do five recommendations for some horror shark movies. It's summertime. People are swimming and going and living their best lives at the beach. No better time to remind them of, um, the terrors of the deep, um, and how maybe, you know, respect them and give them distance. Anyway, um, these are not necessarily my top five. A couple of them would make my top five list. These are more just movies that I really enjoyed that are shark related. Um, one of them I'm pretty sure people are going to be so annoyed by, but it's okay. It's my list. You can have your own shark list. Um, yeah, so let's just jump into it. Um, these are going to be kind of, this this top five and the top five at the end of the month are going to be kind of short. I, I've got a lot going on. So um, I'm trying to be as consistent as possible. So I'll be passionate about what I do, but also have to do things that make sense and aren't going to make me have a panic attack. Um, I like talking about sharks. Uh, yeah, so my first one obviously is Jaws. If you are new to Earth um, and you haven't heard of Jaws, um, it's like the OG shark movie. It's um, a really fun movie about, I've talked about this, we want to talk about Jaws on previously. Oh, uh, mine and Steve's um, collaboration video where we talked about um, intro to horror video or movies that you know, for people who aren't super into horror, these are movies that, like, might be good for people. Um, and this is one of them. So Jaws uh, is essentially a story about a small beach town that um, has a bit of a shark issue. Um, and a sheriff that tries to save the day. So one of the reasons that I think Jaws is still so... Um, God, I don't know. I think, I think even by today's standards, like you have to keeping in, keeping in mind, of course, that Jaws is pro all practical effects. Um, is it, Jaws is one of few creature features that I feel like you are like, you get so invested in the humans, like you feel like you're almost on the boat, like you're. I don't know. Like I feel like you're. You feel like you're part of this little like group of men, you know who are out in the middle of the ocean trying to capture the shark and kill it because it's causing all these problems. And through these things that you learn about each of them and just their personalities and how they interact with each other, like it's super fun. It's a really fun movie. I don't feel like it's overly scary. I may or may not have already shown my toddler, um, which is really funny because in the middle of it, when you see Bruce come out of the water, like, I mean, really out of the water for the first time, he said, <laughs> He goes, mommy, that's a big baby shark, <laughs> which I think I've said in another video before, but it's really funny. Anyway, so um, if you have never seen Jaws and if you haven't seen the other Jaws movies, you should. Um, I actually have not read the Jaws book. It is on my Amazon list, though. I do intend to read it eventually, considering it is a favorite of mine. Um, I mean, I watch Jaws several times a year, especially when it's like summertime. It's just such a perfect time to watch that movie and be terrified at the ocean all over again. Um, yeah, so Jaws is my first one. Um, my second one is 47 meters down. 47 meters. Mm, I can't remember if it's got the word down in it or not. Anyway, 47 meters with uh, Mandy Moore and that girl from the vampire show. Um, so the first time I saw this movie, our TV had just got hit by lightning and I had to watch it on this like itty bitty tiny like old um, display screen for like a, um, it was a monitor for a computer. It's like really tiny. And I was like, man, I loved the movie so much. I was like, oh, I've got to like watch it on a bigger. So when we got a replacement TV, I went back and watched it on a big TV. So much more anxiety second go around. Um, I love 47 meters down. I think that, you know, I'm sure I, I know when I read a lot of the reviews on IMDb, people were like, Oh my God, it's so impractical and this is inaccurate. Who cares? No one is watching shark movies 
for logistics. Like who cares? Like, I don't care about that. Like, I just want to see some crazy shark moments. And there's this one moment I'm going to have Mike put this picture up somewhere um, next to me or in front of my face or whatever, um, where she or Mandy Moore's character is swimming up and she lights a flare underwater and the sharks are like right there. And it was like, whoo, that movie gave me so much anxiety. Um, and I loved it. I thought it was a really well done movie. I think, um, you know, I, I mean, story wise, meh. but I think like, again, I'm not watching a shark movie for the story most of the time, which is one of the reasons I mentioned Jaws stands out so much is because you do get invested in what's going on. I don't know that for like 47 meters down, I feel like it was one of those where I was like, oh my God, I love the characters and I love the story. I just really liked it. Like as far as the um, the sequences and the anxiety and the underwater shots are so well done. The sharks are stunning. These moments that build into these tension, like like they just it just gets you, and it was so so good. Um, so forty seven meters down is my second one. So my number three is uh, Deep Blue Sea, of course. Um, talking about a movie that makes absolutely no sense. So Deep Blue Sea is just a fun movie. It's another one that doesn't make a lot of sense. Um, you know, the sharks in it, of course, are CGI. They're, they're, you know, I think they're completely CGI. Um, no practical effects, which is fine. I didn't really care one way or the other about that. But I will say this, because I thought this was like, um, this does have characters that I did really enjoy. I didn't care so much about the bad boy background and why he could swim with sharks, but he couldn't get like a different job. I don't care. I didn't care about the scientist. I didn't care about any of that. But like um, LL Cool J made that film for me. He's hysterical. And um, no, I just really liked that movie a lot. It's fun. Um, it definitely has some, some like high anxiety moments. Um, it, it just, you know, this, I kind of liked the like a um, mad scientist approach where it's like, oh, you know, we're going to cure this human thing by working on this shark thing and it's going to give us all our answers. I don't know. I thought that was fine. Like I was entertained by that. But and then, of course, you've got the excellent kill with Samuel L. Jackson. Um, but yeah, so that was um, I really enjoyed Deep Blue Sea. I don't know many people in the horror world who have not seen that. But if you haven't seen Deep Blue Sea, it is a really fun shark movie. Like it's just a fun shark movie. It's very funny. I laugh a lot when I watch it even now and it's just good. I liked it a lot. Um, this concept. So we're already like scared of sharks. You know, Jaws didn't do very good things for the shark community, um, which has been remedied over the years with people raising money and awareness. And it's like the, you know, sharks are not man-eating machines. They're just animals and they live in the ocean and that's their home. And that, and we go into the ocean at our own risk and they're meant to be respected. And so it's just one of those things where it's like this, we have a fear of sharks because I mean, they have the advantage when we're in the ocean. Right. And so added with um, this increased intelligence is, is like, woo, you know, so anyway, deep blue sea is my number three. Um, my number four was one that actually kind of surprised me. So um, it's called shark night 3d. Um, but I, 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 you know, I watched this, I didn't watch it in 3d, but I watched it, um, when I think it was like available to rent for like a couple bucks on Comcast or on demand or whatever, when it came out many moons ago. Um, and I remember going into it thinking it was going to be an awful shark movie because so many of them are, and that's most of the appeal with shark movies. Um, but I think that one thing that is interesting is like, I actually thought that the concept was really cool. I liked the use of the people against um, the other people. So the premise is basically these people go on vacation and then there are these, these men that take tourists and feed them to sharks, different types of sharks. And there's this one type of shark in the movie called a cookie cutter shark. And it was like really, really fucking cool. And so anyway, I say all that to say it was, it was relatively unique of a concept, um, a different little, slightly different take on, um, shark movies, but it was a lot of fun. It was a really cool movie. I liked it a lot. I actually, I mean, I'm sure it didn't win any crazy like awards or anything, but I actually found it to be very entertaining, which I was very surprised by because like I said, shark movies are normally like, that a lot of them are cheesy, which brings me to number five. You can be mad if you want to, but my number five is Sharknado. Um, Sharknado is one of the funniest movies I think I have ever seen. 
Um, if you're not familiar, go watch it. <laughs> it's hysterical. Um, it's got, you know, what's his name from Beverly Hills 90210. It's got Tara Reed in it. It's, it's a very, um, out there, crazy, low budget shark movie. And it is just hysterical. It is so funny. Um, you know, I don't give a damn about the story. It doesn't matter that it makes absolutely zero sense. The graphics are for shit. Um, there are literally sequences in this movie where it's like it cuts from the the moment that they're filming on camera to this like scene that they obviously pulled from like National Geographic or some shit. And they do this multiple times and they use the same sequence multiple times. I didn't even care. There's this one particular scene at the very end that involving a is it a chainsaw? I think you got to see it. It's hysterical. It is such a funny movie. Um, highly recommending Sharknado form. Um, I did want to take a quick second since I am specifically talking about shark movies to uh, talk about an account that I re recently connected with on Twitter. Um, and her name is Shark Movie Mafia. She's a YouTube channel. Um, she's also on Twitter. I'll link her stuff in the description below. She's super sweet, very funny, but she does weird ass shark movies on her YouTube channel. And it's, it, I mean, it's just a good time. I, I highly recommend checking out her content, giving her a follow on Twitter, subscribe to her channel, um, check out her shark content. If you like shark movies, creature feature type things, um, that cheesy, highly, highly recommend. And, and again, that's uh, Shark Movie Mafia. I will link all of her stuff in the description below. Um, yeah, so again, this is going to be a super short video. I know you guys love when I go on tangents for two hours, um, but that's all I have for this one. So that is my five recommendations for some shark movies if you're looking for some to watch, um, you know, before you go to the beach. Also, we're sunscreen. I got sun poisoning one time in my early 20s when I tell you I have never been sunburned another day in my life. I'm the only person I know that can go to the beach looking like this and come, come back the exact same shade. I uh, do not play when it comes to sunburn, and you shouldn't either. It's scary stuff. So... Uh, anyway, that's all I have for this one. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. Uh, check out Shark Movie Mafia. She's um, she's really sweet. I like her a lot, and her content's uh, fun, so I think you should give her a shot. Check her out. Uh, that's all I have for this one, so hope you guys enjoy the rest of your week. Enjoy your weekend, and I will see you in the next one.